Hello, welcome to Pike Creek Farm. My name is Renee and do you ever have one of those days where you're craving something from when you were young? Well, I was in a local grocery store today and at the deli they make homemade salads and snacks and you know treats, desserts. And they had, well my family used to call it, this is tilting, used to call it green slime. Yeah, not the most appealing name. Sometimes called Watergate salad, sometimes called um, just pistachio fluff. But they had containers, maybe like a cup, cup and a half, and it was like $5 or close to it. And I went, ooh, I don't want to spend that. And I had whipped topping thawed at home. So I picked up some crushed pineapple and pistachio pudding, and I had pecans at home, and I made green fluff. <laughs> I know, it, it looks so good, but the, the portion that they had, my husband could have eaten in one serving. And I went, yeah, that's, so. I came home and I made green fluff. So I thought I'd bring you along and show you how I make it. It's super simple. We had it at every family gathering when I was a kid. Every family picnic or party would have this stuff. So let's go make green fluff. Or as in my family, green slime. <laughs> okay, this is the easiest salad and you can adapt it to your family's likes. The first thing you need to do is open up a can of crushed pineapple in juice and then you're going to add one box of pistachio pudding instant pudding i have seen some people use two boxes my family it was always one box so that's what i stuck with and you could do different flavors of pudding too you know for different colors of fluff <laughs> so now we're going to mix it in the powder will all blend in with the liquid and the pineapple and it will get thick because it is instant pudding. But you wanna make sure all that powder is dissolved and the color becomes very green. So you just don't want any graininess to it. You want it all to be dissolved. This was a recipe that my mom always let me help make or I would make on my own by the time I was, you know, 10, 11. You know, it was my job to help with the family parties by making the green fluff, green slime, but green fluff. I don't know why my one uncle called it that and it stuck. So now we're gonna add a regular size container of whipped topping, whatever brand and style you like. I think this was the extra creamy. You're just gonna fold it in. You do need to do this all by hand, uh, otherwise it will fall, basically. So just keep stirring it in, folding it in. Make sure you scrape down to the bottom because the pineapple pudding mixture will stick at the bottom. So just keep folding it. And then I'm gonna add some mini marshmallows. My mom never added these because she hated marshmallows but it is traditionally part of the recipe and my husband likes the marshmallows. So I added about a half of a bag of marshmallows and just gonna fold them in so they're evenly spread out in the green fluff. And just keep folding it in. And now my mom always added some more nuts. She would always chop up some pecans to give it some crunch. I don't think that's commonly what people do, but mom and her sisters always did that. And after I made it, my husband likes it better with just the marshmallows and not the extra crunch. He wants it just to be fluffy and smooth. So the pecans are totally optional, but I just thought I would share how we did it. And if your family likes pecans and that extra crunch, add them. You could add pistachios, but of course they were always pretty expensive growing up, so it was always pecans. Not walnuts, pecans. Now fold in the pecans if you decide to add them. Like I said, that's totally optional. And then 
this is done. That's all there is to it. I'm going to take out some for a sample, and then I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap and refrigerate it. It really tastes better after it's been refrigerated and it sets up and is nice and cold and just tastes so refreshing. Okay, so it will set up more in the fridge, but I had to taste it. Got to do a taste test. Mm -hmm. Well, does this bring back the memories? Minus the marshmallows. Because <laughs> mom didn't like them. But she always added the pecans for a little extra crunch. It's just nice and light and fluffy and just kind of refreshing during the summer. So vintage. Okay, in our family, it was called green slime, but Watergate salad, green pistachio dessert, whatever you call it in your family, let me know down below. I'm gonna go have my snack. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you next time at Pike Creek Farm.